As the ball pops into the catcher's mitt, Megan King and Jessica Burroughs keep their minds focused on one thing, the next pitch. And it seems to be working. As only a redshirt freshman, King has already been recognized with ACC honors after pitching a perfect game in NFCA National Co-Pitcher of the Week. But King couldn't have stepped up to the plate without a little help from junior pitcher Jessica Burroughs. Jessica has been amazing. I mean, I couldn't ask for another pitcher to be there. She really is selfless and does everything in her power to just like make me a better person and player off the field. As much fun as Megan and Jessica have sharing the mound together, they try to keep their focus on leading the team and throwing each pitch with everything they've got. A lot of things for pitchers and catchers, we focus on next pitch. So like if, let's say a girl gets a double, then we want to focus on the next pitch so that that doesn't happen. We focus on back-to-backs too. So like if one girl gets a double, then we won't get another double back-to-back. -back. Or if we walk one girl, then we won't walk the next girl. So we try to focus on next pitch so that it will be better for the team later on. When you're on the mound, you have to be able to be present in, in every single pitch and not let the failures or like a home run or a ground ball that gets to the base or even if an error happens, you have to be able to bounce back. You'll see them kind of turn around and take an extra breath and that's kind of like, okay, next pitch, this is the one that I really need for my team right here. I really think that trusting in the process and just believing it and taking it pitch by pitch and knowing that you threw your last pitch, there's nothing you can do about it, just go and attack the next pitch, next hitter. Even as a freshman, Megan King has no problem stepping out of the bullpen and taking charge. I think for Megan, you have to be able to learn to shake that off, and she's done really well with it. She's not mental out there at all, and she's really been able to bounce back, and I think that that's what kind of drives a pitcher, is because if you let those failures eat you alive, then it's going to be really hard to pitch and stay present in the moment and try to pitch that next pitch. Anyone can see the success for these girls goes beyond any personal award or achievement they've received. They compete to win, and they want to win for the team. Everything we put in is really for the team, and like no one really looks at individual awards. Like It's awesome to get, but we want like the team to be successful, and so when we're all doing our own part and working really hard, then the awards will come and our team will be successful as well. For me and for this team, we just take it as a, it's great, it's an opportunity to like get looked at, especially for recruits coming in and stuff, but just keep taking every single experience and learning from it. And every time the girls walk onto the field, they make a commitment to play their best for each other and leave everything else outside the gate. When we walk through the gate, that's where you kind of check life and you come in and, and you come to this playground and play softball and have a blast with it with the mission of being accountable to our goals of what we want but really truly enjoy that part and then pick up the world as you leave and uh, so that, that's our separation and uh, fortunately for us our bullpen is right there by the gate so it's pretty easy for us to kind of see that day in and day out and be like all right like you need to slow down a little bit right now because everything that's going on is affecting you and so uh, it's a good area for us to get good reflection on what we need and being the best pitcher we can for the team at the time. Whether they're in the dugout, on the field, or outside the gate, this dynamic duo shows exactly how strong the FSU family really is. I'm Rose Perry, reporting for Seminole Sports Magazine.